These are called IEMs or in-ear monitors and I can never use them anymore. Hi guys, my name is DC and today we're going to be talking about how I can never use IEMs anymore. Yeah, these are IEMs or in-ear monitors. Uh, they usually go in your ear or into the innermost part of your ear or, or the more inner part of your ear. And um, they usually come with silicone ear tips and you can replace those with better ones or different sized ones or different form ones. Uh, the key identifier for these guys is that it goes into your inner ear and they create a really good seal around the inside of your ear. So the reason why I can't use them anymore is because they irritate my ears. So usually when I sit down on my computer and play video games or edit videos, it usually takes the, my usual sit down time is around six hours, three to six hours, depending on what I'm doing. And um, when I have these things on, they irritate the hell out of my ear to the point that sometime before I had to get my ears checked because I had an ear infection because I've been wearing them for too long. So I can never wear them anymore because even until now, if I wear these for too long, my ears get irritated or my ears get swollen. So I still use them. I use them as field monitors. So when I have to shoot something outdoors and I have to monitor audio, I use these. Usually that doesn't last long. It's usually just an hour, maybe an hour and a half. What do I use now instead of these guys? These are earbuds. So they sit on the, in the outer part of your inner ear the and they just sit there they don't really go inside so they don't irritate my ears as much and these guys specifically these are the fal iris i also have another pair which is the chk vidos and um they're really cheap they're like 100 to 200 pesos and they sound really good as well so they're not as good as iems i will admit that but for the price and what they do it doesn't irritate the inner part of my inner ear um they're very very useful so that's what they that's what i use now so when i don't feel like using headphones since since i can't wear iems i wear these ones if i wear iems for over two or three hours usually it lasts longer than that when i especially when i game really long i used to stream like six hours straight and i would use iems it would really hurt my ears i wouldn't notice but after taking them off i can really notice that my ears are swollen and they're sweaty on the inside and it's just weird but I can never use IEMs anymore. So I just use earbuds and I feel like the earbud market has really gone down ever since IEMs became a thing, ever since they rose in popularity, which is, I would admit, superior when it comes to noise isolation within your ear. Earbuds or that type of audio monitoring device, right? They have gone out in fashion and popularity. So there's not a lot of options when it comes to higher end uh, in-ear or on ear or I don't even know what to call them when I search for them they're usually earbuds there's a lot of debate whether what to call them I just call them earbuds because it's, it's easier I feel like there's a study somewhere about in-ear monitors and how it uh, ruins not really ruins but it, it damages your ears but I wouldn't go that far I just wanted to talk to you guys about how I can never use IEMs anymore. So yeah, that's basically it. If you guys want to check out um, any of the things that I discussed, you can YouTube most of them. The IEMs are Moondrop spaceships. You can go check them out. And I used spin fits for the ear tips because I was that was recommend, recommended to me by a good friend. And the earbuds that I showed you was the Fall Iris or the CHK Vito, Vitos. They're basically the same with a slight difference. So, but they're, they're, the price point is basically the same. So you can check which one is available to you. And they're usually really cheap running around from one, 100 to 200 pesos. And yeah, that's basically it. That's the whole video. So if you guys liked this video, don't forget to do all the things. Uh, check out the previous video over here. And if you want to do this part, um, go ahead. Bottom.